Hello and welcome to another video where I get notified by my husband, as per usual, whenever there is a wizarding trunk box, that the eagle has landed and it is here. And I bolt my butt out there so fast, this happens every time, <laughs> that I forgot my rings. I forgot my rings and I'm feeling like real naked right now because they're my shiny um, sparkliness. So um, to make up for it, you probably can't tell, but I sprayed some sparkly business, can you tell? No, probably not. I just blinded you. I blinded you with my whiteness. But yes, that is what has arrived today. I'm so excited. It's a nice treat after a long day. Which is the wizarding trunk? Which side? Which, 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 which? Which side are we looking at? Is the wizarding trunk, um, I was gonna say quarterly because they put it on this box. Where is it? We'll do a box overview. Quarterly Special Edition. No, it is not. It is not the Quarterly Special Edition. We'll get into that. It is the bi-monthly edition. And the theme for this one is The Headmaster. Uh, and I'm very curious. There can be like two different takes on The Headmaster. I mean, there are multiple headmasters in Hogwarts. Uh, we've got Dumbledore, we've got Minerva, we've got Snape, and even Umbridge. But I'm thinking, because it's called the Headmaster, that it's probably Dumbledore, it's a singular thing. But we're about to find out, okay? What is going on in here? But before we do, if you are new here and you want to be a part of a community that believes weird is wonderful, I was gonna say this weird, all kinds of weird are wonderful, and magic is real, my cat's over here licking herself, um, hit that subscribe button if you want to see some cat, some cat lickage. <laughs> you will get cat action on this channel, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, I love Dumbledore, so I'm very, very excited to see what the heck is in this box. Let's go. Getting our first impressions, here we go. To the brim. Oh, because we got a large box in there. Okay. We got a large one. <laughs> I said that, and my cat, who is the largest cat that we have, was just like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> okay, let's do keys. So we have a key or I think it's a key, Unlocking Magic. It's their typical box. So item number one, we're diving in, finally. Item number one is this box here that says Unlocking Magic. And in previous boxes, it was a key. So Dumbledore's office, maybe? Again, I'm going with Dumbledore, but I'm expecting other options, okay. Here is the key in all its glory. So at the very top, we have the, what I would assume is the Griffin at the entryway of Dumbledore's office. Okay, now, as I've said in previous boxes, I'm not a huge key person. Um, I don't really collect the Lit Joy ones, mostly because they're out of my price range and for me, um, for a key. But I have been loving some of the ones from Wizarding Trunk lately. And I kept the restriction, restriction, restricted, I can do this, section key. I loved it. And this one is feeling a lot like that one. And I'm really loving it where it could work as a key. It still needs to be like usable. So here it is with the griffin at the top. And then you've got this staircase going all the way down. What is at the end there? Is that another griffin? It looks like another griffin. And then it replicates on the other side. I'm trying to see if there's anything I missed because they tend to put subtle touches. Um, but you have the brick behind, just where the griffin was with that brick behind. It's that whole entryway. I really, really love this. So we have a key. There we go. Item number one. Okay, moving it along. Breezing through. What is this? It is a fabric, a piece of fabric of some kind. It is red and it is in this plastic, so let's take it out. Is it soft? Always wanna know, it's got a silky feel to it. What is this? I wanted to guess, but I'm just gonna open it. It's leaning like a pillowcase right now? Are you a pillowcase? Wait, wait, oh, that's a moon? That's a moon, it is a pillowcase. Okay, let me hold up the whole thing. So here is the pillowcase. In that, like, we got some runes on here. We've got a moon. I'm trying to pick up what is being dropped right now. Okay, we've got, I mean, for sure, uh, Gryffindor colors. Um, but what am I missing? Is this a Dumbledore reference? I do like um, the color of this. I like the feel of this. It is a typical square, so not some sort of odd pillowcase shape. So it should be able to fit a pillowcase just fine, or a pillow just fine. I'm just gonna put a pillowcase in there and call it a day. It's got a zipper, as one would hope, so you can wash it. There's the interior, if you were curious. <laughs> but I'm just like, okay, it's a moon, um, and there are runes. 
is there, I'm trying to think of um, Dumbledore's office and what there might be a reference of too, like thinking of some of the objects that are in there. So drop in the comments down below. Like I said, long day at the mogul job. Um, but I do quite like that. I don't have any like silk like pillows. Okay, next up, ooh, ooh, it's like a stopwatchy business thing going on here. Let's pull it out. Okay, ooh. Wait, is it a compass or a stopwatch? That's cute. Let me hold it up before I open it up because it looks like it opens. Look at the detail on that, including at the top. And it's got a very, very long chain going on here so you can have it as a necklace. But this definitely feels, and maybe, I'm, I'm pretty sure Dumbledore had an item like this. How do we open it? Do we just press the thing? Yes. Wait, it is a compass. Is this a compass? This is cool either way. I quite like this. I want more items. So here's the interior of it. Um, and you've got a lot of, wait, let me look at it. It's hard to express. What are these little objects? They just look like runes again and little moons. Oh, little planets. It still feels like um, an astronomy type compass, which really, really feels, and here's the back, like something, um, that belongs in Dumbledore's office. And like I said, I think I remember seeing something like this. I need to go back and rewatch, but these are kinds of items that I wanted to just have more of that aren't necessarily replicas, although this might be, and I'm just totally missing it, um, but feel very much like they belong in his office. Uh, I like it, I like that. I wouldn't wear it, but I would display it out. Let's do a pin because this is probably a portrait pin because it looks like that. And I would assume it's Dumbledore. Oh, it's not. It's not Dumbledore, it's Ariana. Um, Ariana, Ariana, Ariana. Why am I having trouble with that? Um, as a portrait pin, we are getting a character that we don't normally get. That's a very bold frame, that yellow, um, which is pretty close to the frame that she was in. That's gotta be her, right? That's a really pretty depiction of her. Like I said, I'm not a big portrait pan, pin person and um, it's a smaller one. So it's kind of like the last one where it would work really well if you're doing a full display. I really like seeing other characters that we do not normally see. I would like to see more of her. Um, so yes, please. So I think we're doing real well so far. Okay, next box. Ooh, it's a potion. I'm seeing like a nice shiny maroon going on here. What are we? I, uh, oh, very shiny. It is dragon's blood, 100% pure Hungarian dragon's blood from the pure blood apothecary. So we've got a nice royal red, that Gryffindor red with that shine, that luster inside. There's a lot of luster in this one. Do we do anything? What does it look like? Eh, pretty much the same. It's just extra lustery. Look at that swirl. I really like the red color. I feel like there could have been a little more drippage going on here, but I, I could easily, um, this is me just being picky. I could easily pour some wax over that and add a little more like movement to it. But I really like the label. Well done, as always. I really love the color. This is gonna be a keeper and it's a different shape. It's pretty basic in shape, but it does the job. Um, so yeah, I think I will probably make a slight adjustment that, but that's just me and maybe add a charm, a little like dragon uh, tooth or no, like a talon. That would be cool. Hanging off the edge there, like a little gold chain. We gotta add all the gold. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. We're just going for the large one. We're going big, go big or go home. Although I will say, Taking up the large one, I can almost see what's underneath, so let's not do that. I'm going to guess by the height and such, it is a little weighty, so maybe it's a statue. Oh, is there any statues on Dumbledore's desk? This is feeling 100% Dumbledore. I'm so excited. This is what I wanted it to be. Um, sorry to the other ones. Um, I'm thinking the cup. I mean, we have that from Noble Collection. We've got styrofoam which makes me change my mind and think it's one of their statues. Ooh, what are we? What is happening right now? Any guesses? What is as heavy? That is quite the structure. It, I think it's obvious what this is. Let me pull it back to show you the whole thing, but we have got the actual pensieve. Um, 
So further confirmation that is this is a 100% Dumbledore box. Here's a close-up of the Pensieve. And does it kind of give a watery vibe? A little bit. There's a little bit of swirl there. It's a glossy um, cover overall. I think... <clears throat> I'm trying to think what my feels are here. What are my feels? I feel like I could have done without the background because by having this background, does it work? Yes, like it, um, it, is, it is fitting. I do notice a lot of like paint adjustments that would be needed uh, that were not fully uh, polished, but I kind of wish it was just the cup. Um, cup, <laughs> this isn't a trophy album. <laughs> I wish this was just the Pensieve because when you add a background like this, it to a degree limits where you can display it, um, where you have a little bit more mobility and option. Um, so I feel like I could have done without the background because the background has got more paint issues than this. So I'm not sure this is a keeper for me, but I do like the idea of having a Pensieve. So here's a little bit of like, like yeah, it's got that kind of mirror vibe. Um, there are some products out there that are like that and, that I'm looking at getting. Um, Detail is pretty good. I wish the coloring was a little bit different. Uh, the, the kind of pensive actions, not too bad there. It's a little close to solid for me, but um, it's got nice weight to it. I will say that. Like this thing feels like it would be a pensive. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. Uh, I don't think we've received a pensive before in another box. Uh, if we have, I was not subscribed. So. Okay, next up, let's do the a book cover. Oh, there's two things. What are you? Oh, not a book cover. What, what is that? The Phoenix Life Cycle. Rebirth, Adolescence, Burning Day, and Maturity. Okay, let's see if we can do this proper. Here is the full thing. We've got that gold foiling going on there. Look at that phoenix. I think that phoenix is quite well done. As far as shape, I'm a little particular on my phoenixes. Uh, I don't know why we just got squeaky there. The phoenix life cycle. So there you go. Overall, I mean, nice. I'm not sure how I would display this particular thing. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on that one. And then is this a book cover? Are we not doing a book cover? Because I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> Um, what are you? Just after I said that, it's a book cover. Sorry. <laughs> I have had some people who've said, I really appreciate that you keep it real here. Uh, yes, we're on the reels all the time. <laughs> or so I try. What are you? You are upside down. I'm gonna bend this thing. For the greater good, Artemis Wilde. Look at the, um, feathery action going on there. So there is that book cover. I think it's just continuing with the last ones as far as the sizes go. It's not for me, but the book covers generally are not for me. Um, I'm ready to move on from the book covers. It's not any like diss to the illustration, um, but that's just a personal preference. Okay, what did we got here? I see an illustration, but there are still two more boxes and I so like I said, there's a velvety one in there, but we're gonna save it for last. Oh, I mean, I guess it makes sense. I can already see what it is, it's a vial. And we have got, I've got a couple vials so far. So I would assume it's a new one and not rehashing. Oh, it is, orphanage, yeah. So we've got another, some bubbly action there. I actually almost kind of like that, um, kind of. Could have been done a little bit better, but <laughs> that's just on mine. But yeah, we've got another one, so they're going with that. And it is one of the ones that appears in the films, in the books. Same, similar blue color. This is what I was talking about on the top with the bubbly action, so I don't know if I can remove that. Um, but it's just part of the, the way that they sealed it on mine. But yeah, so this will go really well. Similar kind of lacy pattern on the front. I'm always impressed that these things survive. Um, is there a bit of luster? I think it's a tiny bit of luster going on in there. Now they survived the trip. <laughs> okay, what is this velvety thing? I know there's a print underneath. Is there anything else? Let's get this out of here. What are you? Why don't I recognize this simple? Why does this feel like a piece of jewelry? Why? All the whys. What is happening? Do you see what I mean with the velvety business going on? This feels like a piece of jewelry. 
Whoa. Here it is. It's a metal Order of Merlin. First class Order of Merlin, acts of courage, of great magical achievement. There you go. Look at all the detail on that. And it's got this kind of like green, again with the references, Aubrey. Wizarding Trunk, why you gotta be dropping these things in my mailbox on days that I work so that I forget things, okay? What is the reference here? <laughs> Order of Merlin only ever makes me think of Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, Merlin trials, anybody? <laughs> On my thoughts, um, it's okay, it's okay. I really like the compass a lot more. Like, does it fit in? Does it have the gold situation going on? Yes, gold check, yes, it's got it. Um, and it's fairly wearable. It feels like a little bit of like a belt buckle going on there, um, but I'm trying to think of a different way that could have been done. I can think of some ways. So, there you go, we got a little metal action there. And then we've got, gosh, we got a few prints, okay. Next item is Sherbert Lemon Candies. We have our recipe right here that we've been getting in every box. Easy peasy, I mean, it's just sugar. So, one would hope. Five minutes, serves 25. Oh honey, I am eating more than 25, okay? Serving size is not 25 for me, so there you go. Um, and then we have, two magical creatures, uh, the Chillin, which I have learned has been said improperly, I believe. Yeah, that's not the way to say it. Uh, in, in the, in the um, magical, mystical, what do you call it, uh, mythology. <laughs> that's what it is, where it's pulled from. But in the films, it was called the Chillin. And there it is on this side, Quinitor. The Quinitor on the other side, yeah. And, oh my god, this is getting me in <laughs> the vampire. If anybody has seen any of my earlier videos, you would know that I am a massive Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan. I watched that um, when I was a kid. It formed my adolescence and adulthood, really. And this looks a lot like the um, older vampires in Buffy, if you know, if you know. You know. Um, so I would probably be keeping that. I don't have all of these. I haven't been collecting since the beginning or subscribed since the beginning, and I'm not really interested in all of them or like creating a whole thing. So I just kind of keep the ones that I like. And um, I was gonna say discard, I do not discard. I let go of the ones that I don't. Um, so there we go, we've got two of them. Have we been getting two of them? I feel like we've been getting one. So there's that. And then we have a print which I believe it looks a lot like it is the same artist as previous ones. If you recall the Hagrid one from the Hagrid one, from the Hagrid you know, one the video that we did. Um, and normally like they did in that one, there's representation of every item. So here is kind of an up close top to bottom here. So you might notice some of the items that we got in this box, I would assume. We've got the Pensieve here. Um, the Greater Good book, so the book cover, the Dragon's Blood, I believe that is the reference to that over there. Um, what else? We've got the compass on the bottom, the Sherbert Lemon Candies, so like they, they do, I do like that, they do these like subtle references um, to everything that's in the box. And then lastly, we've got, is this a print? It is, it's only on like regular paper. So I'm not impressed with that, um, but, and, and it's a different take on Dumbledore. It is Sleeping Dumbledore, AKA Dead Dumbledore. Okay, I hate to say it, but it is. I have um, Sleeping Dumbledore framed in like a gold frame that's really fitting. So um, this one, as far as like paper quality, not great. The uh, Illustration, he's a chonky one in, in this one. What's going on? He's been having a lot of sherbet lemon candies, okay? I'm just saying, or he's just wearing a lot of layers, okay? I'm not judging, I'm not judging Dumbledore, okay? You went through a lot, okay? I've been munching on them candies lately because it's been a lot lately. If you know what I'm saying, the comfort feels, but you know, while the paper isn't great, I'm not impressed with that, um, if you frame it, then it's it's fine, because um, you won't notice, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's check a few items. So we know the Pensieve, we know quite, a, I kind of want to know a little bit more on the pillowcase and 
this metal because I'm totally missing it. Is there anything else? Writing desk pillow cover. This pillow cover will look great next to your writing desk designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. So there's not really any particular reference. If there is, I'm totally missing it. Okay, Order of Merlin first class. Given to only the most elite witches and wizards, we present to you with the Order of Merlin first class designed for us by Here Be Monsters 28. We'll have to check them out. Yeah, I'm wondering if I got an extra creature page. Did anybody else get two creature pages? Because it mentions the chillin', um, but nothing else. Oh, right. Okay, so when I say the um, artist that did this illustration did previous ones. That artist is J.P. Mistlecrow, who I may or may not have placed um, an order for some items in this thing uh, in a future video. The pocket watch. A peculiar pocket watch adorned with no numbers and a few too many hands. Okay, so that is a wrap on the wizarding trunk the headmaster, who was definitely Dumbledore. This was a Dumbledore themed box. It wasn't that much of a question for me, but I was curious because you just never know with these mystery boxes. It's a mystery, okay? So as far as favorite items, this is, um, I mean, there's this is a fairly strong one for me. I love the key. So I like that switcheroo that I'm actually really loving the key. It's how I felt, like I said, with the restricted section. Very cool. I think because it's a little simpler um, and, and thus feels a little more like a key. Really like this compass. I will definitely be displaying that. I love that it looks great on either side. I love that it looks great open. You could even have it displayed kind of popped open. Very, very cute in a Dumbledore section. Uh, the vial, of course. I wish this was polished a little bit better. I'll try and make an adjustment, but it will go with my other vials. That's a keeper. I really like, I don't always keep every potion. Um, I think the last one I did not keep, uh, but I will probably be keeping this one because I just love the red. Uh, I think it plays well with the label. I'm just gonna probably do my own, own drippage going on there. I don't really know what I would do with this print. Is Do I like it? Yeah. Um, but I don't really see myself displaying it. It feels like something that might be like laying out on a desk, the um, Phoenix one. So I think these four are my top. The pensive, I, again with the statues, I feel like there's a little more polishing that needs to happen and I would have preferred it to be just the pensive. But that's just me. I think a lot of people will like that. And I think, I think I like the pillowcase. So whenever, I, it's a little questionable whether I would, I would get rid of it or not, which tells me there's something I like about it. I mean, I like the feel of it, I, the colors work. Um, so those are my favorite items. Let me know in those comments down below. I, need, um, I tend to lean in, so <laughs> we don't want to tip that over. But let me know in the comments down below if you got this box, what was your favorite item? Or even if you didn't and you're just watching this video, what was your favorite item? Um, because I was so excited to be getting a Dumbledore box. And I think a lot of these items are pretty strong. I like them. I mean, this one is kind of math for me. Does it work? Will it fit in the Order of Merlin? Sure. It's more of an original idea, I think. So I appreciate that. I also like the box, but I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. I might keep it. Wait and see. We'll see. Are you a big Dumbledore fan just like me? I would love to know. I will see you in those comments down below. But until next time, my magical friends, remember to love what you love and don't break it um, with everything you have and keep making magic. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>